first and fastest with all the big exclusives here on Villa World TV News. And this is literally a big exclusive. Man Mountain, Zat Knight, a Brummy lad, a Villa fan. His dream move signed from Fulham. Here's the central defender talking exclusively with us. Well, Zat, welcome to Aston Villa, or should it be welcome back to Aston Villa, having been at Villa Park on Saturday? It's funny how things work out in football, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, um, it's really strange, you know, like you said, I was down here on the weekend, and um, never thought of, like, coming back this week anyway, anytime soon. And um, to, to get the call to come back um, yesterday, it's, um, it's a dream come true, really. It is a cliche to call it a dream move, but this really is a realisation of a lifelong dream for you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And, um, anyone who knows me, I mean, I think it's been spe speculated a few times every time I play Villa that I'm a Villa fan. And, um, you know, I come from Aston. I used to go to Aston Manor School. You know, everything, um, everything's connected, you know. And um, to come back and play for them, and like you said, um, I remember uh, about 15 years ago so, um, sitting in the stands and, and watching games and to, to be there playing, to be playing there week in, week out. And like I say, it's a dream come true for me. I know your outstanding recollection was uh, Villa versus Inter Milan. You've got a good story to tell about that, I think. Yeah, I mean, um, I remember watching that. My uncle brought me down to the game and um, went into penalties. And I thought, like you said, I think it was um, Bergkamp who missed the penalty. And um, everyone ran onto the pitch and I was one of the youngsters who ran onto the pitch. And maybe I shouldn't say that, I might get fined. <laughs> <laughs> Are you as much of a Villa fan now as you ever were, even though you moved away and played for Fulham? I mean, um, it's a bit difficult to kind of be as big as a fan as maybe I was before, because obviously I'm, I'm playing for um, a team who's going to be playing against in week in, week out, but I'll definitely say it's a team what I, I look out for every time I look at the scores. Um, Villa is one of the teams that I look out for, and you know, a few of the boys wind me up at the training ground, you know, you know, Villa are not one of the better clubs and whatnot, but like I said, um, I'm a local boy and it's a team I support. Yeah, you did have a, have a trial here. I don't know whether you can remember that many years ago, but here you are. <laughs> I think it was around about f uh, 13, 14, so it was many moons ago. Um, but like I said, I mean, um, life, life works in um, mysterious ways and, you know, it feels like I've gone full circle and, and uh, I feel like I've come back as a, um, a much better person and a much better player. And you're working with one of the most respected managers in the game. Was that a big factor, Martin O'Neill being here? Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, everywhere he's been, he's done really well, you know, Leicester, Celtic, you know, and um, so far he's done really well here. You know, the people I've spoke about, everyone speaks highly about him. You know, I um, spoke to a few of the players and speaking to the staff today, everyone can just speak highly about him and um, I feel that I've done the right choice. And you know about the Villa squad, having played them so recently, marking John Carew and some of the other players? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, he's made some good signings and they've got some good players on the side and um, hopefully I can just add to that and um, make the stride um, a lot stronger. You're probably not as upset now about the results on Saturday. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I was really upset on the, on the weekend, you know, especially, like, obviously, um, the people giving me an on goal. But, you know, um, like I said, um, I'm really of the mean that um, I made the right choice and... That game um, is really important to us now because it gives us four points instead of just the one, you know, and puts us on. Um, I think it's ten. I think it's tenth in the league. So um, yeah, I mean, um, it doesn't really matter no more, does it? I wasn't going to mention uh, your touch on Ashley Young's cross come shot, but you got there in front of me. Hopefully, a few genuine goals in a villager. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, like you said, um, hopefully at the other end, you know. And um, I got a bit of stick about that on the, on the weekend. And a few of my mates, non Villa fan, I used to score because um, obviously you support the Villa. But no, I mean, um, like you said, um, it's something I want to do. I want to score a bit more goals. You know, I got two last season. You know, I mean, I'll be aiming for about five, six goals. You know, this season. With the greatest of respect to Fulham, it's an achievement for that football club to stay in the Premier League, isn't it? And that they've done really well to establish themselves as a top flight side. But for Villa, the ambition is more, uh, perhaps a European spot. Yeah, I mean, um, Fulham's done really well. I think this is that eighth season in the Premiership, you know. And like, I think they're just the only team that's like, come, come up and stayed up, you know. And, and they've done really well, you know. Um, but. Talking about Villa now, um, yeah, they're European side, you know, they've done it before, as I said before, um, I've, saw it, I've saw it from my own eyes and hopefully I can be part of it and um, play in the UEFA Cups. You've had a look around the new training ground, some facilities, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, something special, you know, and um, I'm just happy to be a part of it, you know, um, it's a new season for us and um, new, it's a new start for myself, I'm really looking forward to it and, you know, um, Long made his um, good fortune continue for myself and for Aston Villa. You must have longed to uh, put that claret and viewer, uh, blue jersey on over the years and it's going to be a reality. Yeah, I mean, um, I remember having, I think it was the, 
the um, was it the red and green strip, the Muller one. I remember I had one then when I was um, younger. I think I uh, think Paul McGraw. I had on my shirt, and um, yeah, I mean, it's a dream for me to have um, this claret and brew put on my back. Um, really looking forward to it. Yeah. How about Villa Park as your home stadium? It, look, it did look special on Saturday, you know, and I don't know how many fans were there, but it did look really nice, and um, it's nice to be part and part of it. And I can't really, I can't, I can't wait to um, run out in front of them. Finally, are you fit? Because obviously you went off the pitch early at the weekend. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I picked up a bit of a knock on on the weekend, um, but but I'm fit. I mean, um, I was prepared to play for Fulham tonight in the in the game, but as you can see, I've um, come down here to sign for the Villa. Great, best of luck in your Villa career. Thank you very much.